Hi guys, Lady Yoga and Shorty here with Yoga Quickies, the show where you tell us what you want out of your yoga or fitness routine, and we deliver it to you in five minutes or less. We got a request recently about someone who's dealing with panic attacks. Panic attacks are no joke. A million Americans per month deal with panic attacks, and hopefully if it's a regular kind of thing, you're dealing with a medical professional to help you manage this on a daily basis. Medication, therapy, going to a yoga class like Yin or Restorative, deep meditation, relaxing, relaxation like Yoga Nidra, and pranayama, breath and energy control will always be helpful. But if panic attacks just sort of come up out of nowhere, you're stressed, you're harried, even just that panic stress affliction that you have on a daily basis if you're running around doing a lot of things and don't have moments in between to really clear your energy before moving on to the next, the next, and the next. It's very easy this day and age to be in a rush and panicked, always overscheduled, busy, 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 going, going, going. But it's really important that we bookend each one of our things that we do during the day, whether it's our to-dos, the things that we do with our family, our loved ones, our friends, our work, to really find that moment where we can just decompress, even if it's for a moment. So we're gonna put five minutes on the clock and do just a few things that'll help you regulate your breath, slow down and soothe your nervous system, and relax and soothe your heart rate as well. So we'll put that five minutes on right now. And you can integrate any of these things throughout your day, whether you got five minutes or an hour, and just plug it in. Let's stretch the arms up and over the head. Don't worry about straightening, bending, interlacing, anything you wanna do with the arms. And just allow yourself to stretch from side to side. This will allow, with the arms up and over the head, for the diaphragm to drop even deeper so we can take deeper breaths. Allow yourself to do a few cycles of this, just feeling that stretch on the side. I already feel relaxed doing this. Even a soft bend in your knees will help you feel the feet grounding into the floor. So even if that is hitting the fan, you'll feel that grounding energy of your power into the earth. An interlace of the fingers back behind you will help open up through the heart. If you're not feeling any dizziness, just drop your head back and release the head from side to side. You might hear those little Rice Krispies. That's normal, especially if you have any neck tension or upper back tension. You can also use a chair or the wall and just forward fold here. Put your bum against the wall, palms to your thighs, round through your spine and wiggle through your shoulders. Let the head just go heavy and take deep breaths in and out through the nose. If you're like, what deep breaths? I don't have those in a panic attack. You can use a form of Sikari breathing, which is inhaling and making an S sound. It's kind of like a snake, so you can call it snake breathing if you want. Inhaling. Almost like you're popping the air out of a balloon. It's actually really relaxing. You can also do this on a chair and that feels really good, especially if you feel like you're getting a little bit of the vertigo standing up. I'm already ready to take a nap. You can use your chair for a downward facing dog, head lower than the heart, soften through the knees, the joints of the elbows, feeling everything really soft here. Deep breath. A little flutter of the lips will help release any tension out of the jaw, sort of like a horsey breath. And one of my all-time favorites during a panic attack, because I've had them too, even as a yoga teacher, is jumping jacks. Do as many as you can. It'll actually raise the heart rate, but your body will be focusing so much on doing the jumping jacks that it'll actually forget that it's in panic mode. I got that one from Orange is the New Black, which actually worked, especially when I broke my big toe. Laid up, binge watching Orange is the New Black, and it was a great way to just, well, not be on the big toe, but it helps to just kind of like, whoo, a little burst of energy, a little bit of cardio. And hopefully these things will help. You can always do just a little twist, use your chair or a wall, lift up through the heart. It's almost like you're wringing out the spine. You're not really wringing out the spine, but you're just creating a tiny little burst of energy that hopefully will help. And the final thing, if you do have some time, and maybe you're not in a public place because you might feel like you look weird, is just to take your right hand and just take the pointer finger, thumb finger, and the pointer is gonna close off the left, thumb is gonna close off the right. You'll take an inhale, exhale, close off the left and inhale through the right. 
Find a still point of focus as you do so. Close the right and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Try to do that until any of those symptoms start to subside, having your last exhale be through the right. Keep your still point of focus for a moment and just sit as still as you possibly can. If that's still not working, just find a little shake in the arms. Horsey breath or big inhale. <sighs> and maybe even a little heart opener on the chair. Just lean yourself back into the chair. Let the arms be open, chest be open. Again, if you're dizzy, don't drop your head back. You can keep your chin towards your chest and just allow it to settle slowly. Have some sips of water and take that moment that you need to transition into the rest of your day. It just takes one, two, or all of those activities to start bringing your awareness back in. I remember my very first panic attack. It was the dizziness and all I had to do was sit down, fold like this, do a little horsey breath, and then the alternate austral and it really worked, really helped. So hopefully that's gonna help for you. We even did that, oh, perfect five minutes. Thank you, Tamba. That might actually make you emphatic a little more with that sound. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that's gonna help you with your panic attacks. If it's more than just a stressful reaction to something that's happening in your day, do seek out the help from a medical professional. Try to seek out those times, those moments in the day, even if it's a few times a week, that you can go in and do some deep relaxation and meditation, even if it's in a group, some relaxing yoga, restorative or yin, and uh, some of these little exercises that you can do throughout your work day and your mom day and dad day and you know going to school day and preparing for your SATs day. So hopefully that'll help. Check out all of the information below to subscribe and anything else that you wanna know out of your yoga and fitness routine. And namaste, thanks so much. Breathe deeply and have a great day. Thanks.